this study, I have learned what God has expected of me and what it means for me to be a true woman. The Lord has placed Titus 2 deeply on my heart. As a mother of two, I need to teach my daughters important things in life. Women at Work for me is a powerful enabler to help me with the transformations process that my life's worth refers to. What is wow to me? Wow is wow. Um, it's amazing to meet so many um, ladies that are on fire for God and everyone from different upbringings and backgrounds but with the same purpose and that's really just to to glorify God with their lives. Well for me was an answer to a prayer. I asked God to come and change me and show me his plan and design for me so I can live a life that makes him smile. He came and blessed me with a Bible study all about his design for women. In short for me wow is a safe haven where girlfriends can meet and where new friendships are formed, where we pray together, where we do life together, we laugh together, we cry together, and you can meet in the comfort of your home or in the office or in your, even in your car. Wow was such a blessing in my life because it gave me, gave me a new opportunity to grow spiritually, to connect with new wonderful people, and to serve in the kingdom in a very fresh and new manner. Women at Work for Me is an exciting way of experiencing koinonia and a way to discover truths and answers to questions together. Wow for Me is simply Father God spoiling me with sisters in Christ, with knowledge and a support system. It's helping me to apply the lessons to my life and holding me accountable if I don't. It's a ability to pray for one another and it's a platform to serve others the way Jesus did. Wow has been life changing in how I see myself, my relationship with others, and especially my relationship with Jesus. And it has liberated me from what the world teaches us to believe and how to do it. Wow for me is really exactly that. It's a platform where a lot of girls get together to study God's Word, to really understand God's biblical principles about women. Jeremia 29 vers 12 sê, Ek weet wat ek vir jou beplaat. Ek beplaan vir jou voorspoed, sê die Heere, nie teespoed nie. Ek wil hee, jy moet hoop vir die toekomst sê. En daarom mag jy seker wees, dat waar jy en jy op pad is, en as jy opstaan in jou roepa, die Heere jou machtig wil gebruik. That night, God gave me a supernatural peace. And for the first time in my life, I had hope. It felt like I had been holding my breath, like, like, and I could just suddenly let go and that everything was going to be okay. And it feels, it feels like somebody punched you in the stomach when you look at your family and you think, oh, my kids almost had to grow up without me. And I never actually realized the importance of a mother until I almost died um, and having that revelation of how precious life actually is. I mean, we all know life is precious, but having that revelation. So that's why I say I'm just so grateful to be here. I'm just filled with so much gratitude. We had gone to church one Sunday and God had just spoken during praise and worship. He had just spoken into my spirit and said to me, you need to stop asking me. I've heard your prayers, I've heard your requests. You need to start thanking me and believing that Gareth has already been healed because that's what Jesus died on the cross to give him. We went through our moments, our ups and downs, where we both felt like things weren't going according to plan and you start questioning things. And I think, as you've already mentioned, you, you go through those stages where you really just, there's so much uncertainty um, and you just don't know what to do. And you start, clutching at everything but the fact of the matter is that we went through those stages at different times mm. and when one of us was going through that we would help each other to get back to that we believing and trusting God is going to do this. As ons om rarig wil aanbid, moet ons verstaan wie hy is, wie hy is. Ons vraag vandag is wie is jy? Ek sê vir jou. As jy nie weet wie hy is, kan jy om nie rare gaan bid nie. Ons moet hom leer ken. 
En eerst als ons om ken, kan ons om vertrouwen. Jezus het, Jesus het vrouwens baie anders behandel as mense in die tijd. En hy die laas status van vrouwens absoluut om lig. Hy het vir hulle kom vryheid gee. Hy het vir hulle kom lering gee. Hy het hulle na nieuwe hoogtes geneem. Toe die ontsteltenis van allemaal rondom hom met woord en daad het hy die ou oortuigings en praktijke teengegaan wat vrouwens as sociaal, intellectueel en geestelik minder waardig te definieer het. Hy die posiesie van vrou wees in zichzelf kom verhef en die waarde van vrouwen kom herstel volgens sy aanvankelijke skeppingsorde. In fact, I've, I've heard some friends of mine quoted as saying things like, if I only was married, I could do so much more ministry if I was married. But the reality is that is simply not true. We can do so much more ministry where we're at in our life. As a single person, we can do way more ministry than a married person can. And this is what Paul addresses. If you look in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, skip on down to verse 34. And here's what Paul is saying. He says, the unmarried or betrothed woman is anxious about what? She's anxious about the things of the Lord, how to be holy in body and spirit. As a single person, it is not a waiting period. It is absolutely a time to jump out there and do ministry. Ons dien een ongelooflike God. Ons dien een God van geneesing. En ja, hy het my nie fysies genees nie, maar hy het my emotioneel 100% genees. Hy het die storm in my hart kom stilmaak. Hy het vir my kom vrede gee. Hy het my kom sterk maak. Hy het my kom optel. En alle eer en lof kom net aan hom toe. En hy het my geleer dat as ek om toelaat om die storms in my hart stil te maak, as ek om toelaat om deel te word van my leven, as ek om deel maak van my frustratie, en my pijn, en my seer, en my woede, as ek om bly soek in alles, sal hy my sterk maak. Die eerste ding is van een strategie wat sy gepraat het. Sy het gesê, die Titus 2 beginsel van die Bijbel is een strategie, van God, oor hoe om die koninkryk uh, van God uit te bouwen, nie net in die aantal mense nie, maar ook in diepte in ons harte. En um, vir my persoonlik is dit een van die beste strategieën wat God eindelijk uitgedink het, as ek dink aan die hele ding van gesin wees, van familie wees, van kerk wees. Um, uh, wow, God het um, eindelijk uh, gekom en vooraf alles so beplan hoe hy eindelijk vir ons hier op aarde uh, kan help om by hom uit te kom. Hoe ons van ons kant af kan uh, om beter leer ken. Hi everyone, this is Mariana here. Welcome to your WOW Wrap. We are often paralyzed by anxiety and fear and by the busyness and the demands of this world. We feel overwhelmed and out of control. What is the root cause of this? Our scripture this week comes from Psalm 56 verses 3 to 4. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God who... Hier is nog een paar namen wat ik baie graag na wil verwijs. En die eerste een wat ek voor my het, kom ek sê, ek gaan allemaal, dat is vier eindelijk. Dit is Shama, Yahweh Shama, en dan Yahweh Shamal. Hoor jy, die twee is baie na in mekaar. Daar kom net een hulklank aan die einde van een shama, shama, shamal. Twee verskillende name met uh, basis diezelfde betekenis, maar ons kom by wat die eindelijke diep verskil is. En dan is daar shalom, ja bij shalom. En dan El Roy, r o i die een wat sien. En um, daar gaan ek gaan gaan scroll, so daar kan jylle sien, daar is die eerste bladsy van mense. So hallo jylle allemaal. En dan hier so, sien ons die tweede groepie mense, daar is sy, jylle kan gaan ons baai. En daar so is die derde bladsy mense, so hoe amazing is dit? Die...